All right, Dini, I got a question for you here. Okay. Do you know what weighs as much as a Toyota Corolla? It spins at thousands of RPM. And could one Utah hopes one day live in your backyard and change the energy equation for the entire planet? Sounds like it could solve all our problems. Yes, it does. <laughs> Peter Rosen <laughs> is going to have the answer. What better place for a green energy idea to sprout than on the family tree farm? Nate Walkingshaw wanted to use hydropower to run irrigation pumps there and needed a way to store the electricity. Creating power is actually fairly simple. Storing power is hard. The entrepreneur found an answer and a new venture aimed at storing solar power at home in something called FES, Flywheel Energy Storage. You can see the basic physics behind it in your kid's toy truck. You put energy in and a heavy flywheel inside starts spinning. It's heavy so it can store a lot of energy. And then a few seconds later, you let the truck go and that stored energy comes out. FES adds a motor. Electricity powers the motor, which turns the wheel, and when you need the power back, the wheel turns the motor, which generates electricity. Not a new idea. In the 40s, there was the European gyrobus, which ran a few kilometers with FES. They've since been used in things like roller coasters and physics labs because they can deliver a lot of power all at once. In a round box in the back of a solar-powered demo home for Walkingshaw's company Taurus, this is a thoroughly modern flywheel floating on magnets and encased in a vacuum to reduce friction. Okay, it's pretty darn quiet. Walking Shaw says flywheels can last decades and don't have the environmental impact chemical batteries do. However, because it's a 3,000 pound wheel spinning at thousands of RPM, there's a potential for the flywheel to fail and explode. Walking Shaw says new materials and monitoring sensors prevent failure. You have to put a ton of telemetry data in a flywheel so that it never has a catastrophic failure. Probably the bigger obstacle is that they cost a lot more than chemical batteries. Walking Shaw says you need to consider that longer product life. So if people take like a much longer view, that completely changes your perception of, of affordability. This system, he says, can store 10 kilowatt hours. That alone won't charge your electric car, but it could run your house at 1,000 watts for 10 hours. Walkingshaw found success during what he calls the over-industrialized revolution. I wouldn't be sitting here if we hadn't have gotten to where we are. But now follows a new path for four good reasons. If you look at the next 30 or 40 years of their life, I think their life looks different than mine. We do need to find a completely different path with a completely different solution, and it lives in electrification. Peter Rosen, KSL 5 News. Peter, thank you. Walkingshaw estimates a Taurus system with the solar cells, inverters, and the flywheel will cost about $50,000 installed. Hmm.